Hi, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to show you how to update your firmware on uh, Roncom 2HD. It's very simple, but for those that don't know how, I just make this video for them. So, it was a version 1.3, 1.4 and now it's version 1.5. So I have here on this Roncom version 1.4. So how can be done this? It's very simple. You will gonna need your memory card from your uh, from your uh, Roncom. You're gonna put it on your computer and you're gonna go down on the link on the description where you can find and download the the firmware from roncom.com uh, it's from the actually uh, uh, normal website where you can buy the roncom or something like that uh, everything like this spares uh, something else also so you're gonna download the file from there you're gonna erase everything you have on the memory card and you just uh, unzip the file take the those two files and send it on this memory card and after you do that <coughs> you just have to put your memory card inside of here on the slot like normally and just connect it with some fpv gear like a quadcopter and the monitor like this one or if you don't are in this uh, hobby rc you can connect it with the cable on your uh, tv with a cable on your tv on the box from roncom you will gonna find here inside on the box this cable this cable however you will connect it with this kind of cable it's coming all together like a piece put it right here and this one put it right there I mean I cut the cable but it was a long one you just put it there be careful to put the, the pins in the good direction yellow yellow and black and black and this one connecting your television from uh, video so after you connect that you have to open your camera and also the battery has to be full charge if it's full charge that's okay if it's not full charge you're gonna have a problem because maybe the battery gonna stop in the middle of the action on the update and you're gonna destroy your camera so charge your battery full and after do all these things so me I charged it before also I have a connector on my quad so it's supplying by uh, 2s battery over here just like this one it's a lipo battery so I have a monitor right here Now let me show you because I have the version 1.4. I'm start the Roncom. And how you can see I have already the firmware inside 1.4 or 1.5, sorry. It's 1.5 inside over there. So me I'm gonna press if it's yes or if it's no so let me take it out I'm gonna take the memory card outside from my uh, camera I'm gonna put it again how you do to go in the menu in the menu it's very simple so the run comes right here Okay. Oh, 
it's manual focus because automatic is doesn't work okay so when it's like this on your tv you're gonna see the image live you're gonna press and hold wi-fi button press and hold now you're gonna get in the settings settings like this so now when you are in the settings you have to press the on off button to go down if you want to see your uh, firmware it's right here system when you're gonna find you're gonna press Wi-Fi now system information yes Wi-Fi how you can see my version it's 1.4 let me close my camera let me take my uh, memory card and put it back in my camera zoom out a bit and show you what is going on when you press the button when you press the button on off and the camera start working after it start working you're gonna have a solid light over here on top and this is for the charges doesn't matter if i take it out right now you're gonna lose the image but i will gonna have also the the same uh, light you can see now let me start again here you see now you ask me also with no cable from fpv no cable you ask me if i want to install this software however i don't know which one it's yes and which one is no to push the button over here so that's why they say use a monitor or use a um, osd or something like a, everything what it's uh, compatible with uh, av with the video signal so if i plug in the cable how you can see I can have the image over there if I take it out my camera gonna restart anyway so let me put back my cable press long down off now they ask me again if I want to flash or not if I'm gonna press the power button once you're gonna say yes if I'm gonna press again you're gonna say no so uh if you're gonna if you don't gonna have your uh, tv or something or your, I, i'm not sure exactly what you're gonna do that uh, how you're gonna do it but i i'm sure if you're gonna have a yellow or uh, orange light over here on top just like this if you're gonna press once power button if you don't have a screen and once wi-fi button you're gonna update your firmware i am sure about that i am sure you're gonna work in and now it's updating how you can see it was stop and now i have just the charging one if i press long now it's working I press long the Wi-Fi menu <coughs> and we're gonna go down or they say uh, system right there Wi-Fi button system information Wi-Fi button now I have version April 19 2016 that was the date and the time release and this is the version 1.5 this is the new and the latest version i think you have uh, more settings on your uh, phone 
or Android or Apple OS you're gonna have more uh, settings more options more uh, things inside over there with the new version also from the application uh, I'm not sure exactly what they do what not long Wi-Fi menu long Wi-Fi menu and you get out live stream let's close it let's close the quad close everything let's connect a bit with my phone okay so now we are in the application over here how you can see it's on the application press and hold it's opening now it's just running normally one time Wi-Fi Wi-Fi flashing that's mean we have to search for camera just close my Wi-Fi from my home now we're gonna bind with the, the solid light and now we are live sorry high speed video recording system and 126 I know so this is the live stream for uh, from my camera you can see it's just right there this is my DSLR over here so yeah now the options and things like that I am not sure exactly what they put inside more I can focus here. They say sync. Oh, okay. So they say auto sync time. That stamp power TV mode. Oh, I think this one is new. Now have PAL and TC and TSC and PAL. I think this one it not was here Wi-Fi sending uh, settings it was Ca this one it not was here format is there restore parameter uh, application the version in my 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 in my phone the version it's 1.6 this is the version what you needed for uh, for these settings on Android, uh, I'm not sure in the in the OS on Apple. Stamp day, I don't need that. I would you yes, uh, 50 hertz or 60 hertz, and this I like it also. But you cannot do update or something like that. They show you here the firmware what you have it inside, but I'm not sure if you can update it from here from Wi-Fi because how I tell you if you're gonna push the button open just gonna be a solid orange light and you cannot do anything you don't have a monitor but however you can try that just put a memory card press the button hold it to open or you're gonna have a orange light just press one time uh, power button So open it, press one time power button and second time Wi-Fi you're gonna have a orange light here flashing and when you're gonna get off that light that means your uh, software is updated. I I'm sure it's working like that with, uh, with no television or with no screen on FPV gear or something like that I'm sure it's working. So This is the video how you update the firmware on uh, Roncom 2 HD and also check for other video how you can change the micro USB if you have problem with that and you broke it like me and you have to put a new one on your uh, on your Roncom so check my other video so 
Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and see you next time.